This is the 5M Lua Master Series, and I'm Charles Hacks. Part of being a 5M Master is keeping up on the latest news and what's changing in the 5M development ecosystem. And if you're watching this video, you're already doing it right, because today we're talking about eight brand new natives that you should know about. And if you're watching this video on the day that it came out, that means that these natives literally came out this morning. I rushed to my computer to start recording a video to make sure you guys were the absolute first to know about these new features. And because this is so new, if you wanna start using these right away, it's important you update your server artifact to the latest optional version. The latest recommended will not work because that's a little bit outdated given how bleeding edge these are. So make sure you go and download the latest optional version of the server artifacts for whether you're using Windows or Linux. And without further ado, let's dive into the new natives. And so the first native that we're going to look at today is Git Ped Stealth Movement. And all of these natives are really simple. You just pass them either a Ped ID or a Vehicle ID, depending on the natives, and that's it. So Git Ped Stealth Movement, we give it a Ped ID, and then it'll tell us if the player is in stealth or not. Jumping into the game, as you can see, while we walk around, uh, Git Ped Stealth Movement is returning false. But the moment I go into a stealth crouch, that starts returning true. And then when I come out of it, we're back to false. So this makes it really easy to tell if a player is currently stealthing or not. And the next native we're gonna look at is, is ped strafing? Just like the last native, all you do is pass this a ped ID and it will tell you if the ped is strafing or not, which given that I haven't had a lot of time to research exactly what causes these certain conditions to be met, I'll show you the easiest way to identify this. So as we walk around now, you can see that we're not strafing because as far as I know, it's not possible to strafe in third person mode. But when we jump over to first person and we now can strafe left and right, you can see that is ped strafing is equal to true. All right, quickly moving on to the next one. The next native is is flashlight on, which will tell you if a ped's flashlight is on or not. And this conveniently works for both flashlights and weapon flashlights. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna pull out a flashlight here and you see in the bottom left that is flashlight is on, but when we point our flashlight and turn it on, it switches to true. And when we put it down, it switches back to false. And I also have a pistol with a flashlight attached and you can see that it's false. And when we turn it on, it turns to true. We also get a new ragdoll native. So the is ped ragdoll native will tell us if a ped is currently ragdolling. Let's take a look at that. I've climbed up to the top of this building and you can see is ped ragdoll is false. But when we jump off and start ragdolling, you see it change to one. And then once we get up, it goes back to false. Let's take a look at is ped using action mode next. Just like the others, you just give it a ped ID and that's all you need. And what you're going to find most commonly relevant for is ped using action mode is the kind of at the ready running stance that your ped uses after you fire a weapon. So instead of running with your weapon in one hand jogging, uh, when you have that animation where you are hold still holding the gun with both hands, that's going to be probably the most relevant action mode for you. Jumping into the game, we can see is ped using action mode is false and we can run like this, we can aim like this, and this is not using action mode. However, once we shoot, and then go into this new stance of running with both hands on our gun, you can see the action mode is one or true. And then once we relax and release our gun with our left hand, you'll see it goes back to false. We've got to break out our vehicle for this next native, which is, is vehicle window intact? And for this native, you pass in a vehicle ID, not a ped ID. And you also pass in a parameter that specifies which window, windscreen, windscreen R, window LF, RF, LR, RR, LM, or RM, starting at zero and going up to seven. Jumping into the game in the bottom left, you can see I'm calling this native eight times, uh, one for each option of zero through seven. And so we can see each one down in the bottom left. And right now they're all true or one because none of the windows are damaged. However, once I start shooting the windows out, you will see that they will start updating accordingly. Now, one thing that I noticed is that the names provided in the documentation for this native don't seem to exactly match the windows that are actually shot out. Um, and this may just be me understanding it, or maybe it varies based on vehicles. So this will probably take a little bit of experimentation to figure out exactly which index represents which window. And for our final native, we're headed out to the water to check out is boat anchored and frozen, which I can tell you this native personally would have saved me a ton of pain in my past servers. And it does exactly what it sounds like. It tells you if the boat is anchored and frozen. 
and you pass in a vehicle ID of a boat here, and then you get a true or a false back. So let's take a look at that. I'm standing on this boat right now, which has not been anchored, and you can see it is false. Uh, I have a command here called anchor boat that when I call it will anchor this boat, and this native now returns one or true. And that's going to be it for these new natives that you need to know about. There are a couple other ones that were added that I can't seem to get working, and they're also not showing up in the documentation yet, so I'm not sure if they're broken or what's going on there. And those are, is boat wrecked? Does boat sink when wrecked? Has vehicle been damaged by bullets? And is ped handcuffed? So like I said, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with those natives. I'll be sure to pin a comment down below if anything changes and those start working, but definitely worth checking out. I hope you learned something new from this video and got some great ideas about what you can use these natives for in your servers. If you're particularly excited about one of these and it's gonna change the game for you, be sure to let me know that down in the comment. I'm excited to hear how you guys are gonna put these natives into practice in your servers. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more 5M development content. I'm Charles Hacks and we'll see you in the next one.